conceptual art. The idea or concept behind a piece is more important than the finished art object in conceptual art. It began as an art trend in the 1960s and the term is most commonly used to describe art created between the mid-1960s and the mid-1970s. When an artist creates conceptual art, all of the planning and decisions are made ahead of time and execution is a quick process. Conceptual art can take on nearly any form and appearance. This is because, unlike a painter or sculptor who will consider how best to express the ideas using paint or sculptural materials and techniques, a conceptual artist will use whatever materials and form is most appropriate for communicating their message which could range from a performance to a written description. This is an example of an conceptual art. What is conceptual art? In the 1960s, conceptual art arose as an art movement, criticizing the then-dominant modernist approach and its aesthetic focus. The phrase is typically applied to art created between the mid-1960s and the mid-1970s. The idea or concept behind the work of art became more significant than the technical skill or aesthetic in conceptualism. To communicate their ideas, conceptual artists employed whatever materials and forms were available. As a result, a wide range of artworks were created that might resemble almost anything, from performance to writing to everyday things. The artists used linguistic, mathematical, and process-oriented dimensions of cognition, as well as invisible systems, structures, and processes to investigate the potential of art as an idea and art as knowledge. Brief History of Conceptual Art Marcel Duchamp is widely regarded as a forefather of conceptual art with his ready-made fountain of 1917 being regarded as the first conceptual work. Although conceptual art was initially characterized in 1960s, its roots may be traced back to 1917 when Marcel Duchamp famously purchased a urinal from a plumber's shop and entered it as a sculpture in a New York Open Sculpture Exhibition for which he was on the selection committee. The jury dismissed the piece as immoral and refused to accept it as art. Duchamp laid the ground for conceptual art by questioning the limitations of art and criticizing the art establishment. Conceptual Art Core Characteristics Rather than pieces of art, conceptual art is concerned with ideas and meanings. Like paintings, sculptures, other precious objects, it is distinguished by the use of text and photography as well as a wide range of transitory generally ordinary materials and found objects. Photography and video, as well as other contemporary media such as computers, performance art, projections, installation art, and sound are frequently used. It might be considered an aesthetic revolt against the increasing monetization of art and or the creative constraints imposed by modern art taught in traditionalist settings.
famous conceptual artist is Joseph Cossat. In the late 1960s, he saw the emergence of conceptual art as a distinct movement. Non-anthropomorphic art and normal art, organized by Joseph Cossat and Christine Koslov in New York in 1967, featured works by Cossat and Christine Koslov. The actual pieces of art are the concepts Cossat set in his notes for the exhibition. In the same year, he showed his title series, Art as Idea as Idea. This series of painting consists of words such as meaning, object, representation, and theory, among others, that were at the heart of the argument over the validity of modern art. Joseph Cossat, Four Colors, Four Words, Blue, Red, Yellow, Green on 1966, Photo of Wide Walls. Conceptual Art Facts Marcel Duchamp is widely regarded as the founder of conceptual art. He is well known for his ready-made works such as Fountain, the renowned urinal that he declared as art in 1917 and is regarded as the world's first conceptual artwork. Conceptual art has evolved to refer to all modern work that does not employ standard painting and sculpture techniques. Conceptualism is frequently used as a derogatory phrase to describe what people dislike about contemporary art that is based on a concept, the Anglo-American art movement known as conceptualism flourished in the 1960s and 1970s. The artworks, concept, planning and production process were deemed more important than the final output. A broader definition of conceptualism says that since the 1950s, men and women from all over the world have been working conceptually on topics ranging from imperialism to personal identity. Conceptualism becomes a global concept. 